Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on our Cougar Eliminator. Why is the paint stripped? Well, because I shot that part of the video with absolutely no audio. So, you guys have seen me strip the paint off before, so I don't think we've... I don't think we've actually lost anything here today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of nasally. I'm a little sick today, so... I'm just gonna do, uh... Do what we can to get through a video. So the first thing I got to do is get this eliminator primed and painted gloss black like this Porsche. And then from there we got a few more steps before we can lay on some color. So it's going to be pretty interesting today. We're going to be experimenting. I haven't done any of this on my own time. We're going to be trying it out together. So this could be a total fail. But we're going to see. You guys see this Cougar is a plastic based car. It's got these terrible mags. That's yeah, terrible. Kids would like them, but adults that like muscle cars, not so much. So we're gonna make this look like a muscle car today. And I got some footage of how this looked before if you're just tuning in. We got her on the, the little rotisserie there, so you guys could have a good look at that. Get the before picture, and of course I just used my aircraft paint remover by clean strip to strip this paint off in a hurry and I got it down to bare metal so I'm at the point here where I got some mags picked out and some of you guys might recognize these these would be off one of those cornet dragsters I really like it this I hate that they're they're not color matched but I get it you know when you drag racing, you, you don't have a matching set for your slicks. So, we got some big old rubber meats we're going to put on these things. But what I'm going to do today is try to make these look the same. So, we're going to be painting these wheels today. So, that'll be something interesting, something we haven't done before. And we're going to see if we can get this kind of anodized look. And we're going to see how that goes. So, that is the plan, you guys. So the first thing I need to do is I'm going to give this body a little bit of a sand. I've already gone through with my file and I've cleaned up some of the flashing I didn't like. Back here was really bad. And uh, there's a little bit of stuff on these fenders I cleaned up. If you can tell I got some, some got a couple of file marks right here. That's for me just giving this a light file to get rid of some of the ex excess blobs that were on there on both sides so so for now we're just gonna give this a sand kinda clean it up and get everything looking real nice and then we're gonna get set up to do some paint what do we got here? we got a little 15 hundy I got a new lens here, I don't, you guys can probably tell already it looks a little bit off I was trying to get a little bit more field of view so I got a wide angle. We're just trying it out here today. I'm basically just giving this a scuffing. We could do this with a Scotch Bright pad if you don't have sandpapers. It'd work just fine, or even a steel wool. And we just want to give this a quick wet sand, just to get everything kind of equalized here. Probably all we need to do. <clears throat> this car from the factory had really nice paint, so I've got no doubt. I've got no doubt when we uh, when we paint this, it's gonna look just as good, or well, probably better. Hopefully better. That's all we wanted to do. Just give it a little scuffing. So I've already filed these posts relatively flat, so they're ready to be drilled. And then from there, I believe we can uh, start some painting. Gotta remember to do these. Can't forget them. Can't forget them. That should be enough. So we're about ready to start painting. So for the candy to work, we got to get this to gloss black first so that we can make it chrome. And then from the chrome, we start laying pigment down. And then after the pigment, we got a clear coat. 
and then maybe we'll do some flat black graphics on here or something like that so that's kind of my plan for now but the first step is to get this eliminator body looking like this Porsche body so that's what we're doing all right step one we are going to primer this with a self etching DTM primer I absolutely hate using rattle can primers just because so much paint comes out like the volume is made for bigger objects than little cars like this but I haven't found a good direct to metal primer that is kind of airbrush ready so something I'm looking for in the future this is just something that I had right now available so that's what we used so here's our car after the primer is dried Looks pretty good, lots of detail there still, so I don't think I'm actually going to sand it. It's still nice and crispy, so we're going to go ahead and mix up some black. So we got some uh, jet black here from Createx, Wicked Colors. I've got some balancing clear here. And what I'm going to do is mix all my components first. Producer, balancing clear, and then my paint. It's a little confusing when you first start using this stuff just because there is so many different formulas depending on what you're doing. I'm gonna give this a good mix. Now I'm going to let this just chill for about five minutes before I start painting. I'm going to filter our paint as usual. I mixed up more than I needed. It's tough when you're adding so many ingredients, but this is what it is. using my airbrush to dry my paint between coats. As soon as you lose the gloss, you throw another coat on. So it's ready to go already. I just want to get these nice and dry before we put a gloss on. That's the beauty of these water-based colors. Everything's ready so quickly. It's going to save me so much time and I'm totally switching over. No more enamel over here. I'm done with enamel paints now. I won't be buying any more of those. We're going to mix up some clear. This is 2K clear that I am running a reducer in. Alright, now it's the Cougar's turn to go silver. For the Cougar, we're using something called Tequila Yellow, but it's going to be more like an orange when it's done. I 
It's gonna be cool. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm scared. So tough trying to keep everything even. That's a really nice looking color already. That'd be really nice on a red line. But we're going uh, two more coats yet, so we're going to get fairly dark here. We're gonna let this dry up we're gonna hit it with a clear coat and then we're gonna see the magic all right so I did a bunch of detailing on this last night I didn't record it just because I was coughing and sniffling and dying I still got to do the tail lights on this thing but we got to switch these wheels out which should be a pretty easy task being a plastic based car We can just pop these little guys out. Maybe save them for another project. I don't know. Might be able to paint them up. Make them look cool. But not for this guy. We got wheel delivery service. Uh. These are the ones we painted yesterday. Got them looking all aluminum. Boop, 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 boop. Pretty happy with those. I might need to do a teeny bit of filing to get these boots in here. I think they'll fit, but they might not roll very nicely. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a little teeny, teeny mod here. Just a little bump they put on here. I just wanna kinda get rid of that. Something like that. Should give us a lot more wiggle room here. Something like that. Fits in there not bad. Probably still going to need a little dab of glue just because once you bend these little plastic tabs a little bit, they don't really go back. So just as a little security measure, just put a little dab of glue right on top of here and that should keep everything where it needs to be. It. So we got our interior. Looks pretty good. I'm probably not going to do anything with it. I know some guys are really into doing interiors. I personally am really into doing paint. So you know everybody's a little bit different. I'm totally good with a plain black interior like this. Nice and clean. I don't feel like I can get in there good enough to do it justice. So I'd rather just leave it alone rather than to do a bad job at it so much more into doing paint and finish there's a little imperfection in our glass from the factory so I think I am going to give it a dip in the pledge and pretty well once that's dry I think we could put it all together you can hear the furnace is on sorry about that get this dipped and then we'll move on uh, we're just gonna cover that up with a little something something just so the little dust bunnies don't settle on that and get stuck in the windshield I think other than the tail lights Everything is done here. This pen is a little bit too light. I'm going to switch to my acrylic. I think a good look might be um, painting the tail light with, with acrylic, with a Sharpie, whatever. And then painting some of that pledge on top of it to kind of give it a lens. I think that would be a real good look. 
Something like that. Bloop, 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 bloop. <clears throat> it's really tough to do. Looks pretty good. Let's let that dry for a second here. I think we're at a point here where I can put everything back together. Get that glass in there first. This was a pretty fun little project, this one. I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed painting this. It was a lot of steps. It ended up being about probably at least 10 different coats between primer, clear coats, black, candy, you name it. It was a lot of work. It was very tedious. But at the same time, this is going to be one of my... Probably one of my better cars. Daddy just doesn't have the energy today. One last little polish here. Really easy for every little fluffy to just stick to these cars when they're freshly painted. Alright, you guys ready for this? What do you think of this beauty? Ooh wee! Be like, eh, that doesn't really look like candy paint. Or does it? Let's pretend it was sunny outside. This kind of paint in the sun is absurd. I realize the video doesn't do it justice. You should see it in person, but maybe we'll get it up on the rotisserie here. So you guys could have a better look at it. These things are like little static monsters. You gotta show them on top of a bounce sheet or something. But that paint came out amazing. I'm so glad I've got uh, I think 14, 15, I don't know, 14 or 15, 16 colors of this candy. And it is blendable, so you can make your own color. If you remember, this is tequila yellow, but I added a few drops of blood red to it to kind of give it this yellowy orange thing we came up with. Out of direct sunlight, it looks like a nice copper orange, but as the sun hits it, it kind of turns yellow. And it gets really nice. So cool. I'm very pleased with this. We got the hood pins this time and the door handles. I know you guys were complaining. Well, not complaining. I clear coated the Chevelle before I even thought about doing door handles on this car. I did the door handles and the pins before I clear coated the candy. So those are sealed in there forever. So there you go guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm ready to give my throat a break here as you can tell i'm having trouble a little bit speaking today but i'm really glad i uh i worked on this and i got to try out that new candy paint there's going to be a lot more candy paints coming up on the channel if i were to go to extra mile on this i could have did a little bit of flat black work and maybe did the uh, eliminator pinstripe but you know, when you do a candy paint job like this, I just, uh, I didn't bother on this particular car. I think it looks really good how it is. You went the mile, put a little paint on the lower valence there. In the front and the back, so. So considering what we started with, I think this thing turned out really nice. And hopefully, I can do a bunch more muscle cars like this in the future. I'm not sure what the next car is going to be. I got a, a 66 Nova I kind of want to work on. But uh, yeah, we're going to be playing with these candy paints for a while and just see what we can do with them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to take a little rest here and uh, hopefully I'll get another video out to you soon. Have a nice day, my friends.